I'm back. Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. I normally don't sound like this. I've been so sick. And to those of you who are returning viewers, hi. I'm so happy to see you again. Sorry I've been gone for a week. I've just been like, girl, I've been sick. I finally have my voice back. So I wanted to finally film. I've been active on my Instagram, but like you don't have to talk on Instagram. You have to talk on YouTube. Duh. Anyways, I'm back. I'm so excited to play with makeup. I just thought I could do a super short, fun, quick little video today. I will be ranking all of my Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes. Yay, I'm so excited. I just wanted to hop on here and say hi, do a short little rankings, um, but let's just jump into this video. Sorry for my voice. I've been so sick. My allergies. But today's the first day where I could kind of talk and you could understand what I'm saying. So I wanted to take advantage of it and jump into a rankings video. I'm going to be ranking all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I have decluttered so many. Let's see. I've decluttered the Riviera, the Jackie Ina, the Norvina Volume 4, the Norvina Volume 5. I know there's more. But um, those are just some of them off the top of my head that I do not own anymore, which I'm sad because they have such a good formula. But regardless, we are going to be ranking the ones that I do have. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six palettes to be ranking. And we're going to start from the bottom and then work our way up to the top. Okay, so coming in at number six is the Sultry palette. This was limited edition. And this is like everybody's favorite. But for me, my palette, like, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. But um, a lot of my shades have hard pan because I used to dip in with a wet brush, my fault. But I don't know, it's just not like my vibes anymore. It's really pretty, good quality, but my palettes are just hard pan, so I don't reach for it anymore. Coming in at number five is the Soft Glam palette, and mine's literally falling apart because I <laughs> love it so, so much. Man, I used to use this every single day. <clears throat> this is such a good staple palette. Those of you who are like wedding, like it's just so good. If you're a makeup artist, it's like a staple. You have to have it in your collection. But I mean, I have hit pan on three shades. This is like, the name of it is so perfect. Soft Glam. I mean, these shades are so stunning. Like these shimmers are just like out of this world. They are beautiful, buttery and creamy. I don't think I could ever part ways with this palette. It's just such a goodie, an oldie but a goodie. I'm just, there's new palettes that in my collection that I just reach for more. So coming in at number four is this one. <clears throat> this is like the OG for me. This is a modern renaissance. This was my very first high-end palette. So it just like has such good memories for me. Um, it just like brings me back every time I look at it. I have definitely hit pan in lots of these. It's just such a good palette. Like the Soft Glam, I will never get rid of it. It has such good memories. I still use this from time to time. It's just got those staple shades and the formula is still amazing. The matte is what this like brings me into this palette because it's so good. It's just a staple. If I know I need a warm matte or a cool tone matte, I just love the balance. And this like paved the way for eyeshadow palettes. Like this just really like set us up for my addiction of eyeshadow palettes. So it just holds a very special place in my heart. Okay, so now the next like top three. I reach for them all the time. They're so, so good. Um, so this one is uh, the, what is this called? The Primrose Palette. This was, I believe, last holiday, and this is what the inside looks like. I almost skipped on it, but I'm so glad I didn't. I was inside Ulta, and I was swatching it, and wow, these shades are amazing. I've already got <laughs> swatches from older, another um, palette, but I mean, let me just swatch some of them on my hand, like... It is creamy. They just go on forever. Like, look look at that. It's so good. I just feel like so many people missed out on this palette. Um, you know, Grapefruit and Saddle. I don't use these as blushes or bronzers, but I use them as eyeshadows. This is such a goodie. I got it on sale for 50% off. I say, if you can get it on sale, if you love these tones, you will not be upset because this quality is just Mm, it's beautiful. It's buttery, pigmented, shiny. It's just beautiful. I'm so glad I picked it up. 
Okay, so coming in at number two is, sorry, I got like hair everywhere. I just like threw my hair up in a messy bun. I'm keeping it real with you. I'm sick. I don't feel good. I got a shirt. It just says, stay cozy. Um, and I've just been playing with makeup. So the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today, this is the Subculture palette, like the infamous Subculture Man, this is newer. I got this at TJ Maxx, and the videos and reviews on this palette, like, forever ago, it just made me want it. I, I know everyone was like, steer clear, like, it's a, it's just a kick-up mess, but I wanted to see what all the commotion was about, and I must say, I love it. And I feel like if this would release today, everyone would have lost their minds because this color story is just so grungy and in. I love it. It's on my eyes today. It's beautiful. Um, I have Dawn on the crease, Destiny, and Untamed to deepen it up. I've got Electric all over the lid and Cube for an inner corner. And I just mixed all of those on the bottom lash line as well. It's not like the most blendable palette, but if you just take your time, you'll get a very beautiful, grungy look. That's why I love it. This is like the grungiest palette and also, let me move all of these mini Natasha Denona because I want to show y'all. Shout out to Heather Austin's palette from Adept. This is the other grungy palette I have in my collection. This is like my number one. Oh my word, it's stunning. But I just want to let you know that like subculture is just calls to me. I love that grunginess. Okay, so last but certainly not least, this is the Norvina palette. I love this palette with all my heart. I wore this to my best friend's wedding. I was her maid of honor. And it just, this palette, once again, it's got good memories. You'll have to let me know. Do you see a certain palette and it takes you back to a certain memory? I love that about eyeshadow palettes. But I, as you can see, like, I've used and abused this palette. I love it. The formula is so good, buttery. I don't even want to swatch them because I don't want to, like, you know, waste it. The mattes are blendable. The shimmers are beautiful. It just like it's a staple palette. I use it all the time. Okay, so that wraps up for me in today's video. Please let me know what palettes you have from ABH. What are your favorites? I just wish so bad that they would come out with a new good palette with like earthy tones with this velvet. I know people don't like the packaging, but it's just so it's so nostalgic for me. I hope they come out with like a banger palette. I cannot wait. Like, come on, ABH. I need a new one in my collection. But regardless, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're healthy, happy, and safe. Sorry about my voice. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.